Hi everyone, it's Kate here. Welcome back to my English Fluency Path, where we'll learn and practice English together and get closer to English fluency gradually, step by step. How are you all? I hope you're all doing great. I'm very excited about today's video because today I'm going to be sharing with you something really interesting, something that I really, really love. Welcome to my English Fluency Path. So without further ado, in this video I'll be talking about one of my favorite methods to practice English, particularly pronunciation, and improve my fluency. Yes, I'll be talking about tongue twisters. I really love drilling tongue twisters, not only because it's really fun, but also very, very beneficial. I would even say extremely beneficial. And now, let's take a closer look at all the benefits of this joyful process. But first, let's clarify what a tongue twister is. Can it really improve your pronunciation? Yes, absolutely. So, tongue twister is a phrase or expression or a sentence which is created to be difficult to pronounce, especially when you repeat it quickly or often. And people have been using tongue twisters for hundreds of years, and they are widely popular nowadays. Tongue twisters have long been used to perfect people's speech. Public speakers, TV presenters, actors often use tongue twisters to warm up, to practice articulating their sounds clearly, ready for their performance. And believe me, tongue twisters can help you practice and improve your pronunciation as well. Regular practice will improve your clarity and articulation of English sounds. So, what are the benefits of practicing or drilling tongue twisters? First of all, by practicing tongue twisters, you improve your fluency, your ability to speak English smoothly and confidently. Also, tongue twisters require precise coordination between the lips, tongue, and other speech organs. Mastering them can help you uh, develop greater control over your speech. Hard to pronounce sounds, expressions can be really challenging and tricky to say correctly, but they can give you a sense of accomplishment and build confidence when speaking English. Listening to others saying tongue twisters can help you strengthen your listening skills and comprehension of spoken English. As we know, reciting tongue twisters requires memorization, so it can help you improve your memory and cognitive abilities. Can you believe it? Those funny, even ridiculous sometimes sentences and phrases can have such a significant impact on your English level. But how to practice tongue twisters correctly and effectively, you may ask? Well, of course, we all know that practice makes progress. Practice makes perfect, right? Therefore, the best way to learn to pronounce complex phrases, complex sounds, is to repeat them as often as possible. But it's not the only tip I can give you. Here are some more tips on how to learn and pronounce these tricky and challenging and fun tongue twisters. First of all, begin by saying the tongue twister clearly and slowly, paying attention to how each sound feels in your mouth. Break a tongue twister into smaller parts. Practice each piece separately. Once you are comfortable with each part, put them all together. Focus on saying the sentence accurately, rather than trying to say it quickly. Write the expression down. I always do this. Or just use pictures to help you remember it. Visual aids can help you associate sounds with words and pictures. And finally, record yourself saying the tongue twister and listen back to it. This will help you identify areas where you need to improve. Ta-da! Now it's time to practice. I'm gonna be saying a few tongue twisters right now. 
every tent twister we go through i'm going to do it slowly first so you can stop you can pause you can repeat it as many times as you want but please do it just for the sake of practice and then i'm going to take a deep breath and say each tent twister as fast as i can and i'm sure i'll mess it up but it's okay it's part of the fun we don't need to be perfect here the main thing here that we are practicing and improving and remember it's not a race uh, slow down where you need to you're in control so let's get started i thought i thought of thinking of thanking you i thought i thought of thinking of thanking you let's speed up a little bit I thought I thought of thinking of thanking you. I thought I thought of thinking of thanking you. I thought I thought of thinking of thanking you. Oh, this one is classic. I love it. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ah, uh, it's great, I hope. This one is really tricky. I haven't practiced it well, so let's see how it goes. Nine nice night nurses nursing nicely. Nine nice night nurses nursing nicely. Let's pick up the pace. Nine nice night nurses nursing nicely. Nine nice night nurses nursing nicely. Nine night no. Nine nice night nurses nursing nicely. Well, I need to practice it a little bit more. Another one. No need to light a night light on a light night like tonight. No need to light a night light on a light night like tonight. Let's pick up the pace. No need to light a night light on a light night like tonight. No need to light a night light on a light night like tonight. No need to light a night light on a light night like tonight. <sighs> and the last one about New York. You know New York, you need you... <laughs> I can't even do it slowly. You know New York, you need you... Again. You know New York, you need New York. You know you need unique New York. One more time. You know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York. And let's pick it up. Uh, you know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York. You know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York. You know you New York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York. Oh, that's it. Well, that's all for now, guys. Uh, we can really feel how good this mouth workout was for us, right? Uh, well done for making it. But please uh, go back and practice the ones you found a little tricky. Thank you for sticking with me until this part of the video. Take care and bye for now.